Okay, press F1 to uh, get to your help. Then uh, go to key map. Control Alt are system keys. Those are uh, um, system wide, not intercepted by the editor. Um, alt keys are um, are uh, user defined. <coughs> alt M and Alt M is max. Alt V is a tile vertically. Uh, those, some of those are handy. You can do your own keyboard plugins for those. The control keys are mostly uh, editor IDE. Um, we're going to look at uh, just a plain old F2 or F4. F4 is uh, this is the uh, keyboard handler. Um, it uh, it calls pop up pick file, pop up picter. Uh, those are uh, um, file choosers. Control D is the uh, is the uh, file manager, um, and it, it turns out that uh, if you uh, uh, let's do edit Alt M for Max, um, and uh, we're going to hit F4. Okay, you got that F4. That does the the file manager, which is the chooser, and then we hit Escape to exit when we're on top and there it is there's the file name so you don't have to type file names if you do that um, you can do file directories with shift F4 anyway so uh, it, it turns out that you change the uh, the first letter of the command a lot of times uh, the, the drive number um, you change it to colon for the boot drive um, anyway uh, uh, now, if you want to search for a, um, a string in a file, then uh, you can say find ff. This is find a string, <laughs> and uh, this gets crazy. But these have a colon, and then there's a colon colon. And uh, let's search for uh, how about alt or uh, yeah, let's search for alt. Alt is the string. Okay, now we're on top of alt. It found alt. Now if we say F colon 2, found the second occurrence of alt. Um, okay, so uh, what we just hit upon was uh, the uh, link types. Um, the editor actually takes a link. Um, you can enter a file or a link, um, a file name, a file an anchor in a file, a string, a second occurrence of a string, a file line number, or you can do plain files. Um, the um, Sparrow OS uses uh, dollar sign commands. Dollar signs are special for uh, documents, and um, if you want to use plain non non document non Sparrow, you can do that. You can search for a book in the Bible. You can search for a definition of a word in the dictionary. There's a help index. There's a um, you can enter an address and it'll jump to source code, or you can enter a symbol for a man table entry. Anyway, uh, so uh, if you don't have so if you don't have a uh, you can enter a file name or you can enter a uh, link. Um, so this this is just a file name. And um, anyway, now it remembers the uh, position of the cursor. It puts a um, I ask you five for the position of the cursor. Watch this. So let's put the cursor down here. I hit escape for exit and save. Now if I do this again, it comes up in the, where I left off. Anyway, uh, so uh, um, the uh, FF, this is find file. Um, let's say star slash uh, star dot txt star semicolon star dot dat star okay this is kind of crazy but uh the it's almost like um there's a the directory and then a list of uh of file types uh the directory you put first and uh that's the base directory and then you put the file types um that didn't work uh Oh, we um, one one thing by the way. Um, control Control B is brings up the border. 
Um, if you ever enter a, uh, a quote, notice the quote down here. We have an open quote, um, so we just got rid of that. Anyway, going back up here, uh, uh, star, find file. Invalid file name. Okay, well, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so it did uh, dot dat and dot txt. Uh, you have to, um, if we say uh, sparrow os slash accts slash star. Okay, anyway, uh, so um, now uh, the uh, ff um, takes a file mask, which is one of those directory and then um, file type things, and then it also takes a fu uh, flag. The fu flags are uh, um, fuf, uh, these are um, recursive, whole labels, question, uh, just source, just directories, just anyway, uh, these are fuf flags. Uh, a lot of a lot of commands take the fuf flags. Um, we can do find, which is grep fuf, and then uh, minus i is don't ignore case. Uh, so these are all the fuf flags. This is a grep. Um, f is a uh, is grep. Um, it's my own personal version. Uh, it's customized. It's a wrapper function around grep. Anyway. Uh, so if you want, uh, there's some handy, uh, let's see, now if you just do directory like this, you get a ton because it's uh, all, anything with, uh, now if you say f um, directory minus i plus l, that's whole labels, that's whole words. Now it's only ones with actual dir. You can do f. Uh, front label or back label. Uh, so if we say uh, minus i plus label front, label front. So um, it it won't let you have anything on the front. Um, so when you do that, it doesn't see how it starts with dir, um, but it doesn't. It do, anyway, uh, so uh, let's go to the uh, let's go to the uh, to this web directory. I just want to show off a couple uh, things here. Uh, here's a bitmap. Uh, we we can type a bitmap file. I just typed it. Now we can, uh, if we go to home, um, we can type a uh, my personal menu to the command line. Now on the command line we have graphics and um, anyway. Uh, now. Uh, um, let's do a partition rep. We have uh, a uh, we have ATA is hard disk. It, ATA API is a uh, um, CD-ROM, and then we have some RAM drives for doing uh, custom things uh, for do for doing images of CD. Sometimes you want to use a RAM drive for a uh, um, uh, image of an ISO or something. Anyway, uh, uh, so. Uh, um, I have a I have a CD-ROM drive on T. Now removable disk. You need to know. Um, okay, you can say DRV drive T. Um, any of these commands that take a drive letter, you put in single quotes because it's C. Um, change disk. Um, this is a removable disk, so we have to, that doesn't automatically detect removable media. So you have to change disk if you if you change the disk you have to enter this command otherwise the cache is invalid and stuff anyway uh, we're going to uh, do uh, this is how you uh, install um, I'm gonna I'm gonna copy my E drive to my uh, F drive how about yeah F drive um, okay so. Uh, um, I keep a, a, my E drive is a 
backup and in my F drive is for transferring in and out. Um, I, my, I keep an exact snapshot so I can reinstall in like five minutes. Um, and uh, I make ISO files that uh, I, uh, you, you want to learn how to make an ISO file, look at the account examples. Anyway, um, then we're going to, uh, there's two, there's two binary files that are compiled ahead of time, the compiler and OS main, and we're going to uh, re do a make all. There's only two files that, that get made. Um, anyway, uh, so uh, the make all is done with install boot because we have to tell the new location of the uh, kernel because the bootloader um, uses an absolute block address. Um, okay, so we just uh, we just copied everything from the E drive onto the F drive, so we have an image. We didn't format first, so we probably should have. Um, anyway, uh, so uh, Bible everything. Uh, now, when this gets done, we're going to install boot. There's, uh, there's an uncompressed utility called TSZ that will run in Windows. Um, the files ending in Z are uh, compressed, and you can uncompress them in Windows if you want. Or you can cop, do a move in uh, Sparrow, and it will uncompress them. Anyway, install boot. Uh, F and then we enter base drive D um, it'll find D E and F so we do two you probe you either enter the ports or uh, if it has a number you can enter a one for the number it knows that's not a port um, oh I didn't do my CD-ROM anyway TS slash tad is my account um, Disk cache size use default. Protect low. Protect low uh, will uh, uh, check for a null pointer D reference. Um, these are options for the um, kernel. So we we just uh, recompiled the kernel and it's OS main and the compiler. Uh, uh, there's a line count rep. Okay, so just as a tour, um, there's a, the compiler is 21,000 lines, and OS main, which is the kernel, is 25,000 lines. So there's about 50,000 lines that are, that are compiled ahead of time. There's a binary file for the compiler and a binary file for the OS main. And everything in Atom gets compiled during boot, and then the accounts code gets compiled during boot. Then you have applications that are compiled when you, just in time when you run them, or uh, miscellaneous and demos. Uh, I want to um, make a comment about uh, oh, home fixes the drive as well. Anyway, uh, um, I want to talk about uh, there's uh, different link types in uh, loose in uh, Sparrow. Uh, you can enter a, there's a there's File, anchor, find a string in a file, fi a line number in a file, that's pretty common. A man page, which looks up a symbol. And then there's plain text. Um, Sparrow documents have uh, dollar sign commands, and you might want to edit a, a plain t without the dollar sign command special. Anyway, it'll look in the Bible, it'll look for a definition of a dictionary word. There's a help index or an address. Anyway, uh, if we say ed, uh, uh, if we say ed, then if we do uh, f4 um, for picking a file, um, then we go and we change the, uh, the first letter to the boot drive. Um, so doc pop up. Let's look for uh, if we say find file colon. That'll find a string in the file doc. Uh, there we found the first occurrence of doc. Let's do the uh, third occurrence doc. There's a third occurrence doc. Let's do file line. Let's do line number uh, 200. 
Now we're on line 200. 